In this demonstration, we'll look at setting up and posting a recurring general journal. We'll set up the lines in our journal, first of all. Um, for our recurring method, we'll be using fixed, which uh, if we recall from the last session, uh, means that the amount will remain even after posting. Our recurring frequency will be 1m plus cm. This uh, refers to the last day of every month, with cm referring to current month and 1m being uh, one month. So the next uh, posting date that we get from this should be for the end of the next month. The posting date that we have is an important field as when we hit post for this journal, the journal will only post the lines if the posting date is on or before our current working date. So I'll use W here. This refers to our working date. And if I tab to the next line, it defaults in our work date as the posting date. For the document number, I'm going to use the letter R and percent four. Uh, as we recall, the percent four will look at populating the field with the name of the month that we're posting into. For our GL account number that we'll be using is our rent expense account. And the amount on that will be 580. On our second line, we'll use much of the same values. Only this time, it will be our prepaid rent account. And this will naturally be a negative 580. So with this set, we can post the transaction from post, print, post, and yes. So the lines have been posted. And the first thing we should notice is that our posting date has now been updated to the 31st of the following month, namely the last day of July. So if we try to post this again, we should see an error. There is nothing to post. And that's because the posting date is now ahead of our work date. And we'll need to wait for our work date to be updated or for the date to roll along naturally in order to be able to post this recurring general journal the second time.